let them go They keep stopping me from going where I'm supposed to go I don't know, it's like every single time Bitch, you running through my mind I be locked and loaded Everybody, hope you're doing great. You can hear there. There's a GPS telling me where to go. Um, fantastic uh, lack of traffic today. It's Friday, 7 to 15 now. Um, left around 7 from the house, 7:05, and um, basically there's no traffic, so pretty should be pretty awesome. Friday, got a lot going on today. First, I'm gonna crank out a couple um, episodes for the Crazy Asian Podcast. I don't get caught up on missing a day. Um, just if if I'm not feeling the flow. For the topic of the day, so Thursday is Thoughtful Thursday, so I talk about um, basically being grateful for everything that you've got and um, recognizing the small things that matter. And then Friday is Fun Friday, so it's about um, you know finding enjoyment. I might talk a little bit about entrepreneurism today or the side hustle. Uh, it depends kind of where the old mind goes. And um, so then I'm uh, going to go to Now Media do a quick recording, introduce uh, them to one of my uh, team, members of my team, um, who's also bilingual, uh, Spanish and English, and the after that, I'm going to have a, a, a break, head back to the office, get some, get some phoning and emails done, and then have a look at um, getting there a little bit early. Today is the, I'm moderating the Houston West Chamber of Commerce Cyber Talk. So um, I have that going on. And then after that, a lot of phone calls, emails. I got to get crank out about 40 some cut dials today and uh, keep keep rolling. So hope you're all doing great. Sure out. All right, everybody, here we are. Got to the office and a great time here. Basically, no traffic on a Friday. It was awesome. Um, basically, didn't have to slow down in the traffic. Which is nice. We're going to be able to go pretty close to the speed limit, if not a little bit over. So now I'm going to get the podcast out on Thoughtful Thursday, talking about count your many blessings, being grateful for what you have, thinking about all those little things that you have. And there's this yin and yang, right, between being extremely grateful for everything that you have, at the same time wanting more. I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting more, but it's, it's about putting it into the right context. And it shouldn't be an unhealthy d- desire and devotion to other things and aspirations. Because you should be re- we should be recognizing all the great things that we do have in our lives that 's making us satisfied and happy, and a lot of things that we have in our lives that we have now were things that we wanted in the past, so if we have a certain car or a certain house, a certain you know education level, maybe even a relationship, at one point you won those things, and now you have them right so if you 're married at one point, you definitely wanted to be married, right you love that person you 're devoted to them and want to keep that. We want to be able to continue to appreciate all those things that we've been given. Let's get to the office. Shumza. Here we are, Tiff Treats, grabbing some cookies for Peter. It's his birthday today. Tiff Treats, here we go. Um, fresh cookies. It just still smells delicious. A little balloon. And then there's some ice cream as well called like a Tiff Blitz. Oh, just totally threw that door open. So... Get a little footage of Peter. Still dancing. <laughs> All right, Peter Reed. Happy birthday, hey, buddy. Happy birthday. Oh, my goodness. That's Hope you like that. Oh, man. You know Megan was dancing. My youngest dog name is Tiffany. Okay, here we are uh, now, media. Going to be able to do a quick recording here. Uh, ran out of time yesterday with uh, getting everybody in through. And so I got some of my own equipment here um, to be able to record it so I can have it for my own. Uh, own documentation. I, I brought one of my uh, agents with um, Belinda. She's going to, because she's bilingual, want to be able to introduce her to the team, to Juan and Nancy up there in Now Media in uh, Suite 250. And so after that, we'll run off to uh, Churrasco's to be able to uh, get ready to moderate the cyber talk uh, over the lunch hour here and then head back to the office. Got a bunch of phone calls I need to make and keep at it. Hope you're doing great, everybody. Okay, just tripped on that curb back there, getting out of the car. Uh, great conversation with Now Media. Look at doing a, a Spanish uh, digital business card and also one in English. And then they're going to use that to be able to fill up some of their space on the radio station. So now I'm here at Churrasco's uh, for our uh, Cyber Talks that I'll be moderating. Got my script here. 
We're ready to rock. We're just waiting for things to start. We're doing the thing, filtering, um, so um, just getting prepped, reading through, making sure I pronounce everybody's name. Your moderator, that's probably the biggest thing that you're doing is making sure you pronounce people's names, recognize as a sponsor, and helping move along that conversation. So that's kind of just the overall focus. All right, everybody, finally heading out of there. Um, so afterwards, after the moderation, she wanted to, uh, she, as in Raquel, over at HCC, wanted to record um, uh, kind of a one-on-one -on -one interview. She's doing a little project for uh, the Houston Community College and being able to just talk through that and get a feel of, you know, being a moderator, what are some of the thoughts, why we think it's important to be able to do that. Here's the Bentley, it's like a $300,000 car. Basically a house on wheels. I'm gonna grab a, some ice cream sandwiches since it's a national ice cream day and head to the office. So hope you're all doing great. Talk to you soon. Yeah, 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 that's my testimony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to take all of you out. Nobody's safe, you're playing the safe.